My All right. We got to hurry up because we know that's that's bugged all crazy. Get on your cellular device, man, if you can next time. Um, but hopefully we won't need to. Just just stay right there, okay? <laughs> so, all right, hold on. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. Okay, so you said that. Okay, so you said that Mickelson Morley debunked the ether. You agree with that? Um, I see. And then, okay. And then I asked you, in order to explain Mickelson Morley, Morley's result, according to mainstream science and the heliocentric model, is all that's needed is to remove the ether? And now Mickelson Morley result is explained? As far as I know, yes, it works. Removing the ether explains Mickelson Morley. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. So we got two yeses. All right, now this is where it starts to get a little rocky. Um, we're going into interferometry now. So, can we use a interferometer to detect the motion of an object moving in a curved path? I can repeat it again if you want me to. Yeah. Um... Uh, this I'm not sure. I have. I, I know that you. This is a one. One of your your favorite subjects. <laughs> I'm. I'm not. I'm not uh, an expert of this on how on how this works, the stagnant effect, and so on. I'm. Uh, I have. I, I've looked into it a little bit, but it's not my field, and I don't want to make uh, absolute statements about this. I think you can, but uh, not uh, in the case of. I think not in the case of of, uh, of uh, the Earth uh, moving on the Sun because the Earth moving on the Sun is in free fall. Okay, but hold on, we hold on, hold on, Franco. Don't jump the gun, Mister Physicist guy. <laughs> no, don't jump the gun. All I asked was, does can we detect an object on a curved path using interferometry? And just like you said, the stagnant effect is pretty much a circular motion, right? I think so, but I'm not, as a, again, I'm not an expert on this. Okay, okay. We, I actually agree with you that we should be able to detect an object in motion along a curved path with interferometry. All right. So so far, we got three yeses. No, no. The, the last yes is not is not an absolute yes because I'm not um, I'm I'm not sure about this. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm, I'll give you that one. I'm telling you that that's how interferometry works, and we we covered it before, but. I'm just giving you the benefit of the doubt as like the guy with the uh, expertise. Um, but that is how interferometry works. It detects a uh, circular motion or some, an object on a curved path, which stagnant effect. So you're, you're kind of familiar with that. Um, just moving forward, okay? So can we detect this motion with interferometry without an ether? Without? An ether. Right. So does inter basically does interferom interferometry work without an ether? Yes. Okay. So we got four yeses. So so far in the mainstream narrative, Mickelson Morley debunked the ether. Hold on real quick. Mickelson Morley Mickelson Morley debunked the ether. It was explained by removing the ether. Interferometry can detect an object in motion along a curved path and we don't need an ether because you said it was debunked and disproved in order to detect this motion so those are the, the four things that we've confirmed so far not sure about the third because i think it depends on, on, on okay the... bro okay okay we heard you we heard you. <laughs> all right so now you we're gonna get into that part in a little bit right okay so is the earth moving in a curved path around the sun Yes. Okay. Now, can interferometry be used to detect an object in a curved path with or without an ether? This is kind of like just doubling back to another question. After we learned about how interferometry works and we agree on the current narrative. 
So again, can interferometry be used to detect an object in motion along a curved path regardless if an ether is present? This is the one that I said I don't know, I'm not sure about, because I think I, I need to see the, the, uh, the calculations and so on. I, I cannot give an, uh, an absolute answer, because it depends, also it depends on the motion, it depends on, on, on the kind of motion. It's not, it's, the path, meaning, saying a curved path does not mean, does not describe the motion. The path does not describe the motion. You need to, 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 to specify the um, time law. I need to specify the time law. Yeah, you need to, you, you, saying that some, something is uh, walk, uh, moving along a circular path does not have the same consequences. It depends on how it moves on the singular, singular path in general, in general. So but the path itself does not does not tell you the physics of the of the motion. Okay, um, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of like jump into the next question a little bit just to kind of just to kind of find a common ground with you on this one because I'm not really familiar with like the the time law variable which are which are why you say it needs to be applicable here, but you do agree that Mickelson Morley was attempting to detect the Earth's orbit with this instrument it was attempting to to um, detect the the uh, earth the earth's motion within the, the within the uh, uh, ether so it was um, designed to detect the so-called ether wind so the earth moving like like a car in in a, in a, in, a, in a stationary atmosphere like uh, so, or a uh, uh, ship uh, in the sea. So, uh, to 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 detect the ether wind, supposing that the that the ether was stationary with respect to the sun, and then the Earth was just um, moving through it. Okay. So they would detect a wind like this. And okay. They didn't. So the, the one the first explanation was okay. So the we so gotta the, get through uh, these questions, Franco. I know you want to explain yourself, but uh, let me just let me just help you out real quick. I, I I definitely get what you're saying, but okay. you did confirm that Mickelson Morley as I, I think they were physicists. I, I think they were. I think, yeah, I think they were. Yeah. So they they did have some knowledge with the interferometry detecting the Earth's motion, and back then they were using Newtonian mechanics. And they assumed that there was an elliptical path. So they said, okay, this instrument can apply to this object moving on a curved path. So you do agree with that. And then you also agree that they don't need an ether to detect motion of this sort. Because that was one of the previous questions. And you said, yes, I do agree that we can detect this circular motion or an object okay. on a curved path in this circular motion no matter whether there's an ether or not. So you do, you did say yes to both of those things, right? I didn't say yes to the, to the, the second one because I, I, again, I want to, I, I, don't, I don't know the details of what is meant by detecting with interferometry. So I know that there are um, um, interferometer gyroscopes, but I'm not sure how they work. So I, I'm not expert on this. I, I cannot answer with certainty on this. Okay. So that's, that's the Mickelson cool. model was, was not meant to detect the circular motion. It was meant, meant to detect the motion, the, the velocity of Earth with respect to ether, not uh, disregarding the, 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 the elliptical motion, as far as I know. All right, but you did say that we can detect this motion without an ether. That was a clear yes. I said, with or without an ether, can we detect motion with the interferometry? And you say yes. That we didn't even debate that. We didn't even have to go back and forth. Sorry, maybe, maybe, maybe I got it. Uh, I, I need. I would need to, to have these things written down. I, I don't. Okay. Um, okay. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you the list of questions. <laughs> I just don't really want you to like touch anything on on your device, bro. I don't want you dropping down. But I'm gonna send it to you. I'm gonna send you the tweet. But you do agree that these physicists wouldn't use an instrument 
that wouldn't be applicable to this circumstance, which would be a body moving in an elliptical fashion. So I said again, I said, you do agree that these physicists wouldn't use an instrument that isn't applicable, which is this orbital body moving around the sun. Like they're not going to say, well, we don't know if in this instrument is going to detect this curve, this motion of, uh, along this curved path, but let's try to use it anyway. Like they designed it for this. Like it was 10 times sensitive enough to detect motion. That's what interferometry is using light to detect interference was, due to motion, circular motion. No, sorry, no, sorry. Uh, sorry, let me say it again. Uh, the, 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 in, the interferometer, Michael's, Michael's or Michael's or whatever you pronounce it, uh, interferometer was designed in order to, to detect the motion of the device with respect to a, an ether, right? And it didn't because it, it, the the the, um, the consequence the consequence of the motion with respect to ether would be a different speed of light in the two directions, and what they proved is that the speed of light was the same in the two directions. So, in, in the absence of an ether, if you if you if the if the interferometer moves with a constant speed, it does not detect it because th th this is just simple relativity principle. All right, hold uh, on. Let me let me let me stop you real quick. Cannot detect uh, interferometry yeah. can detect 15 degree per hour rotation yes or no yes i think so yes all right so <laughs> we're back to square one so you agree that you you just said that interferometry can't detect constant motion and then i said well can't interferometry detect a 15 degree constant rotation then you said yes so you first you yes. said it can't detect a constant motion and then i asked you what about the 15 degree constant rotation and they say yes it can detect that yeah you don't see contradicting a contradiction there no no because constant because the first one is a, a constant velocity the second one is a constant angular velocity two different things i mean it is it is angular and circular i do agree but it's a rotation though and when it's on a curved path it's still a rotation technically it's a rotation. It depends on it, it depends on your it depends on your um, the, the, the the coordinate system that you, sh that you choose. But if you if you if you take a circular path, it's not a rotation. It depends how you how you um, uh, take the, your axis. But uh, anyway, if there is a rotation, the, the, it's a rotation that's one uh, 360 degrees per year instead of per day so it's way uh lower the angular velocity that of you, you are angle. correct you are correct which is why i preface what i said with the instrument was 10 times sensitive enough to detect this motion so like this is a problem that we're running into right now franco your focus on mickelson morley and the ether and I'm saying, hey, these are physicists that said this instrument is going to detect motion. And then you agreed that this instrument would detect motion whether or not an ether was present. So I'm, I'm going to try to get past this with this next question. And this is not on the list. But if I put this an interferometer on an object that was going in a circle, not rotating, not spinning, but just going in a circle, will that interferometer detect that motion while it's on a reference frame that's moving on a circular path it depends on the orientation of the interferometer with respect uh if does it have one of the of the two arms directed toward the center of, 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 of the of the orbit or not or so, does it keep it do, do they keep the do they keep the the uh the uh, arms uh parallel to themselves to, during the i don't know i i would need to to, to see a a a, a plot of, uh, I, I, it's very hard to 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 do it with just words and and then and again uh it's it's not it's not easy to understand to 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 answer this without having actually made the calculations and things like that i'm not so, asking okay. for a measurement franco i'm asking if it's capable of detecting motion the capability of 
sending two light beams perpendicular to each other, one going in the direction of motion, one not. Will we get a fringe shift or a disturbance or an interference in the light beam as it's traveling in a circle, circular path? I have not made the calculations myself, but I know that I've, I've read somewhere that, that uh, there are gyroscopes uh, working like this. So, um, probably yes, but um, as I said, I'm not, uh, I, I don't have the calculations here. I don't know. I don't, I, uh, that's something I'm not, it's not my field and it's not. Well, um, do you trust, do you trust me? Something I can morally? swear. Hold on, hold on. I got a D. Hold on. One second, one second. Um, I, I get what you're saying, Franco. Uh, you do agree that with that setup, where with the lights going in perpendicular to each other, and it's going in a circular path, that one light beam would have to travel in a, a longer distance than the other one after it's reflected back. I have to make the calculations. Uh, all right, but I mean, <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna tell you, like, yes, this is what it's. This is so hard, bro. <laughs> like, this is what Winston was talking about before when he was trying to ask these questions to some other people. It was hard to get like straight yes or no questions, but uh, yes or no answer as well. I do appreciate the fact that you aren't making claims that you aren't sure of, but it's kind of defeating the purpose of that. Yeah, if I'm not sure of something, I will tell you. If I'm sure of something, I will. That's fair. Uh, so, yeah. Go ahead, Deep. I think it's honest. So, Franco, do you believe that uh, Mickelson morally, you know, these guys were trustworthy? I know that, 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 that rotating systems are very, and are not easy to, 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 uh, to, um, to describe in in um, special relativity, it's it's, it's, it's particularly uh, it's not it's not very 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 easy. One need to, to make calculations. I've never done that. I've never done this. So um, if you oh, I don't think you want can hear me. me to do this, it uh, I, I can try. But then, as, as, since an, a rotating system is an accelerated system, it is an accelerated system. I've always believed that this has to do with general relativity, not special relativity. Special relativity deals with uh, systems which are in, in constant motion, one with respect to the other in linear motion, rectilinear motion. It's actually got to do with both, to be totally honest. Um, and that's, that's kind of what we're going to talk about at the end of the exercise. Hold on, I'm just looking something up real quick. Uh, because like I said, they were using Newtonian mechanics uh, at the implementation of these quote unquote experiments or measurements. Um, but then. The point is if, if you place an interferometer on Earth, then Earth is both rotating uh, uh, around its axis and around the sun. So you, you cannot uh, avoid the fact that the Earth is rotating, is rotating uh, on its axis. That's an assumption. So you have the two motions to, to, to take into account. It's not like just something which is an, interf an interferometer with parallel, uh, which uh, sort of uh, travels with parallel uh, arms uh, along a, a, a circular or elliptical orbit. I, I, I don't think it's like that. I, and if it, you can make it like that, then I have to see the calculations made and I have to see it described properly, not just in words. Uh, and and I, I, I say, as I say, uh, I've not I've, I've not uh, read um, a proper a proper uh, um, description of this because I don't because I never needed it. Okay. Okay. Uh, understandable. Understandable. Um, hold on. I just want to look something up really quick, guys. My bad. I'm not afraid to move. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I don't even want to mute. <laughs> I only hear you anyway. Oh, yeah, that was proud. My bad. There was somebody else trying to talk to you too, and I don't think you can hear them, but that's okay. Give us one second here. Can they hear me? Yeah, everyone can hear you. Okay.
damn it, bro. I'm back. I was trying to find like a quick little citation so that way he feel more comfortable answering the questions. <laughs> like, yeah, this is crazy. Uh, hey, proud! Didn't you post a gift of the interferometer? Proud of the interferometer or of the. I thought you posted like the yeah. gift of the beam, like going, like. Of the he's not gonna go off that. He wants math. Yeah, but he might just need to see a visual. Like, he can't deny the way the setup is. Like, he could say, oh, "I need to know the math behind the setup," but like that is the setup. So, I'm proud. Did you did you post that gift at all? No, it wasn't about interferometry. It was about uh, the motion of the Earth, or like the. Gravity well thing. No, I'm not talking about today, to be totally honest. Um, it's like oh, I'm getting annoyed now. Mm, I could have sworn you posted this already. But you probably just don't know what I'm talking about. Like it's a, it's it's the uh it's on like a it's on like a circular device and it's showing like the light beams um bouncing off of each off of something and then reconnecting. And one's traveling like in a a longer distance. Exactly. Your mic is like really like muddled. Tear. Um that's way better. Comprehend realities up here. I still got feedback, so no, it's not. Yeah, I just muted up. Uh, give Franco a second to come back, guys. Let's see if we can try to get through some of this. Um, 